let's see what we've got here. Got some hot English breakfast tea, courtesy of my friends Koji and Roxy. Thank you so much. Not just for the great music, but for the great tea. Even though it's afternoon, I'm enjoying the English breakfast because I am English all the time. So I can have breakfast whenever I want. Got the organic cashews as a snack. Got my towel, got my shorts, and I got a hot bath right here. I've even got my temperature gauge. Temps out just a little over 40 degrees, so it's nice and hot. My plugs aren't leaking at all. It's all wet out here because I was trying to spray the dirt off. What I've got to do right quick before I jump in, I need to get my tripod so I can make this all pro level and stuff. Just wanted to share my very first bath with you guys here. As much as I know you want to see me without my clothes on, I'm not going to be completely nude. No. Ah. Sorry to let you down. As much as I want to jack up the female viewership of my channel, I don't necessarily think that going nude in this bath is the way to do it. it might just drive them away. <laughs> My tripod is on the other side. Another thing is, I got a haircut yesterday. Look how short that is. <laughs> Normally I just get the clippers, the number two on the sides and around the back, and then I have them cut the top down with scissors. But you know what? It's a little warmer right now. Why don't you just cut the whole thing with the clippers? And he said, Honto? And I said, yes, really. I also pulled the van in straight today instead of backing it in, which is not normal. But since it's so warm and dry today, I thought, it's no problem. It'll be very easy to get it out of here. I do need to run back to town in a little while because there are some things I need. I'm out of coffee filters. I might need to get some more bread. I'm thinking that I might lay off the bread. Maybe I don't need bread anymore. I really want to make bigger progress in my health. Getting completely off the bread is one of those things that's gonna help. By the way, I have a special video. It's less than one hour, but it's just a talking video while I'm driving. What I've decided to do, even though it's related to my life and here at the Kominka, I've decided to post it on Patreon. Even though it's connected to here and my life and that sort of thing, because it's such a long video, I don't think that most people are interested in watching that. It's just me. It's just a video of me driving. It's more like a podcast type, where I'm just talking about some updates involving what's going on here with me and Tiago, you know, starting a business building some things for the center march locally here the local festival and on top of that my health situation instead of sharing that all of that information that long video here i'm going to post it on patreon so those of you who are interested in seeing that you can join there and then you'll have access to it you can do that for like i think three dollars a month if you pledge three dollars a month you can see those i'm going to start posting those update videos there those will be primarily for the uh the, the main supporters. So there you go. I got to get my shorts and go, put those on and then we'll come back and let's have a hot bath. Oh. <laughs> Not enough room. Oh, can't change into my shorts. If I don't actually have my shorts, you would have liked that, wouldn't you? I go in there, take off my clothes and, and I'm like, oh man, I forgot my shorts and I got to come out here and do the Japanese AV thing and pixelate everything. Nobody wants that. Trust me, nobody wants that. You're gonna have to use your imagination. Yay. Woo. It feels warm. Let's see what the temperature is. Sexy. Here's my, here's my temperature gauge. It seems that whenever I buy something online, any type of gauge, it always comes in like 25% of the size that I thought it was going to be. It's always much smaller. And apparently it's a little cheaper too because it's got some humidity inside the gauge already. That's not good. Okay, th this water temperature I believe is perfect. Last night when I went to the onsen, it's the same public hot bath that I go to every single time I visit Inside Joe. It's the same one.
<laughs> Ooh, it's hot. Oh, hurts so good. The main thing that I don't like about this is that I can't spread out a little bit. You know, I have to squat. Some of the water is about to overflow because I'm gonna try to pull my legs in and sit down. So I'm sure some water is gonna come out. There's a little bit already coming out, but it's all good. A few more cashews before I adjust. Did you know that in Japan, It's tradition to eat cashews, preferably organic, while you're soaking in a hot bath. For Brandon. Maybe not for other people in Japan, but for me, it's my tradition. But only at home. <laughs> Okay. So here we are. That's the copper roof. The wind that blows underneath it, between it and the thatch roof, and it causes it to make that, that sound. It's very important that I get something covering that up as soon as possible. Preferably before the rain starts again. My pump just came on, which basically means supposedly that it lost some pressure, but it shouldn't have lost any pressure. Uh, let's go check it. Okay, well, something happened that I suspected would happen. I just had a, a fitting come off. <sighs> yeah, let's get some more tea. That's right, Japanese tradition. Hot English breakfast tea, organic cashews, and a hot bath. Ah, here we go. Okay, so I'll explain to you what just happened. The water pump should only come on whenever it loses pressure. It basically means that whenever you turn the water on, the pressure will go down, right? Because the water is coming out. So the pump automatically turns on to keep the pressure. That's a good thing. But if the sink is not on, and for some reason the water pump decides to come on, 
that means either there's a problem with the pump or pressure is being lost somewhere. And when it came on just a minute ago, I could hear some water and I could guess what the problem was. So I went and looked and guess what? The hot water fitting that comes directly out of the propane water heater, it came off, but I'm not surprised. The fitting that I used for it is not the proper fitting. It was just what I used because that's what I had at the time, but it was the incorrect fitting. So I actually bought the correct fitting because I figured that that fitting would come off at some point and it did. So I was right. Now you might ask, why didn't I just go ahead and put the correct fitting on when I got it? I could have done that, but where's the fun in that? I was curious to see how long the old bad fitting would last. Not too long. Mm -mm -mm. I'll switch it out later. It sounds like the kids are right behind my house, right on the other side of the wall. See if I can do a selfie without dropping my phone. I want to give the peace symbol, but it's difficult to do with one hand. Of course, the timer would be on. I had to hold it an extra five seconds. Don't. Let's see. I hope that picture was good. Not so good. Let's see if that works any better. It's not awesome, but it's good enough. Close enough for government work. Check messages. Seems I have one. I can post this to the community tab right now while you're with me. Go to my channel. Scroll over to community. Click on share a behind the scenes photo. Click on the image icon. Select the image. I want to select two, one of me, one of the bathtub. And this will take forever to load because that's how it works out here with the internet. And I can post it. And then all of you guys that haven't seen this video yet can guess where I am. Should be obvious. But the first picture kind of gives it away, obviously. But the second one is really obvious. Have any of you had a hot bath in Japan before? Like the public hot bath or onsen? If you have, what was your experience like? Did you like it? Was it weird for you? Was it something you'd rather not do again? How did you feel about it? Well, the only thing that's really missing is some music. I know some good music. How about... A little... Ballad of a Broken Man. There we go.
I'm really starting to sweat now. After this song, I'll step out and cool off. That breeze feels so good. One of the things about this bathtub that's difficult is uh, my toes have to be smushed and they get uncomfortable. This song is the video that we shot in Hiroshima last year. Once again, if you have a chance to check it out, you can do that. I'm not in the video, by the way. <laughs> I just shot it, directed it, and edited it.
Okay. My toes are so cramped. They feel asleep. So I think I need to stand up and cool off a little bit. One of the main reasons why I wanted to fill this up today and take a bath is not just for myself, but I wanted to get an idea of how this tub would hold up. It's obviously been sitting here for a while, and I think it was Tiago that told me about a bathtub either he or somebody else found. It was an old tub and uh, it just fell apart when uh, either when they moved it or they tried to use it. It just broke and, and shattered, fell apart. So I figured even though this one looks like it's in good shape and cleaned up pretty nicely, I should fill it up and test it out a couple of times. Well, this is test number one. So far, it's okay. I'm also able to sit on the side without any issues. There haven't been any leaks anywhere. So, the drain that the new drain that I put in, the new connection. I did put the washers on both sides, tightened it up nice. It's not leaking. I've even got a stopper in it. That's not leaking. These pipes right here they don't appear to be leaking. There's some water on them, but I think that's whenever I sat down in the tub and the water spilled over. I can dry them off and see if any other water comes comes out or or if there are actually any leaks. But um, if for some reason there are leaks, then I'll just have to figure out something else. But right now I feel that they're not leaking because I don't see anything dripping. They're a little wet, but there's nothing dripping. So I think it's okay. Whew. I don't know how long I was in there, but it was nice to have the hot bath yesterday at Hato Kamo. And then today here for the first time at English Vira. And for those of you who actually watched this video, <laughs> God bless you. It wasn't very exciting, but it's kind of a milestone. It is nice to sit out here and enjoy the wind blowing, the breeze feels good, and just sit in the hot water. You might wonder why it was turned around this way, facing the, the house instead of facing out here. That's just so I could reach my tea and my cashews. I didn't bring any, like a table or anything over here to put anything on, so no big deal. I'll fill this up after I repair that valve in there, that, that connector. I'll fill this up again, maybe in a couple of days have round two, see how it works. And then if all goes well, then I think it'll be okay for me to use. I think the, 
the tub will have proven itself to be a sturdy device that I can use in my bathroom. And I'll see about going in and fixing the floor, getting everything ready to go, get this put in, build the sink cabinet, put in that sink that that I was gifted from Evelyn, and hopefully, if all goes well, get a toilet. I haven't bought one yet because it's useless to spend my money on it right now if I have no where to install it. I have to get that prepared first. I would just be wasting my money. And I can't afford to do that right now. So my new policy is don't buy it until I absolutely need it. So there we go. But anyway, I guess that's all for now. Thank you for joining me. And I will see you in the next video. Done it.